Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here, time for AZ versus NPC part 3. Let's boom some beaches. Alright guys, let's get into it. I've let a few NPC um, bases build up again, so we're going to get back into it. Um, be sure to check out in the... Um, description i'll have all of the bases that we had in this video in the order and the, th the thumbnail should be showing it and in the comment section you'll notice that the time in blue should be for each base um, kev's been helping me out with those shout out to kev um, from zuka academy he's been helping me out um, get the exact times for each of these bases so there sh should be an easy reference if you need to come back and have a look so looking at geometry wars we got the rocket launcher on the left hand side and right and we got shock launchers mortars at the top and a few mines in between here and there <coughs> so what i think we'll do is just two shocks that's all we're going to need isn't it because nothing's going to reach us so we're going to artillery um the shock launcher and two mortars out it's going to be our first port of call i believe it's two for the mortars and three for the shock launcher for me and then that's right we decided that the left path all the way around the wall um, was more efficient than trying to clear mines so here we go remember on the horizontal be um, beach definitely need to be flat um, dropping your zookas a lot slower and then you just want to walk around this left wall taking any path that you're sort of comfortable with being able to um, smoke your zookas reliably they are sort of getting a spread so i'm going to just let them park up and then i'm going to flare them right up into this corner so you can hug the wall a bit more um, i may lose some to that boom mine but we're actually doing all right and to keep them moving so they don't spread out into that boom mine and then all we're going to do is nothing's going to be in range of us um, if we just do two shocks here and here so actually no need to do any critters I believe and there's no surprises perfect so there we go that's how to AZ Geometry Wars 2 can't remember if Geometry Wars 1 shows up here um, but there that's that one down let's move on to the next no losses so far it's always a good start so what have we got next we got nailed So for this one, um, I like to use two artillery to take out each of the rocket launcher groups. Um, if you're worried that you don't have enough GBE for this, remember you're going to get 3, 6, 9, 12 GBE from taking out those three, uh, those four, sorry, and then the same for these ones. So I started with 116 GBE and I've still got 116 GBE, which is always good. And then I normally drop a barrage right in between those two sniper, can um, sniper towers. It's going to clear some mines. Usually it takes out those two snipers. Um, you don't have to take out these snipers, but I like to just because it gives me um, more re reliability on not losing any zookas. And then I'm going to do a two smoke, four boat landing. Um, just slightly left of that uh, middle sniper. And then I'm going to flare just outside where those two dead snipers are. And the Azukas are going to walk slightly to the left, which is as expected. You can use one more smoke than I am um, if you want, but we're just going to flare up to there. Could even flare a little higher. And then we're just flaring on the core. And I like to go critter, 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 shock. And because this closest sniper will sometimes target your Azukas um, if the critters are too far away. If you don't have enough GBE for that, um, that's fine. Like you can just throw... A critter on either side um, but that was probably the safest option that I just took I mean they're only sniper towers and um, there are a lot of them around so if you didn't do anything about them they take out however many snipers there are in range it will take out one zooka each per second so definitely don't ignore them um, but yeah all right let's jump in a face punch how did we do this one let's go I think we normally go to about 11 o'clock. It looks about safest. 
do a direct path up. So we're gonna have to clear some mines for barrage. Okay, I think I got a plan. I don't remember this one recently, but that's okay. So we need to drop a barrage. There's five mines there that we kind of want to go. Do want that one on the left, and we might take the three GBE for that mine. And then I'm going to drop a barrage right in between the machine gun and the flamethrower. Um, <clears throat> just because when we park up there, we can be on the outside of the flamethrowers, but we can't really be on the outside of the machine gun and flamethrowers. So let's do the same thing again. We're going to go two smokes and four boats. And we're going to let, let them anchor up a little bit. There are defenses in range, so we don't have to worry about them spreading or like wandering. And then we want to flare around about there. And just remember when you're smoking, smoke all your avenues um, either side of all the defenses. See how most of my Zookas are on the right, but there's a couple on the left. So I could have just masked um, those ones. I'm going to go Critter, Critter, Shock, Shock. Um, and I haven't flared the core yet, so let's get that done. And we're good. So one thing that's really key, um, I find, in a well, in any hit really, is knowing how much GBE you need at the end of your walk to do what you want to do. Because if you're going to throw critters and they be effective, you need to throw them um, quite a lot earlier than your shocks. So a handy figure that I always remember is 40 GBE is two critters and two shocks. So if you have less than that, just throw one critter or don't throw any and just throw two shocks, whatever you need. Um, but that's the handiest figure that I've got in my head. Um, I could remember more, but you know, my brain is only so big. Um, right, so is there is this the one with a hidden mine? I'm sure I got popped by a hidden mine on a base that looked like this. So blue boom. What are we going to do with you? I think we're going to um, go up the right side. There are no hidden mines here, which I would be worried about. And I think we should be fine with Critter Critter Shock Shock um, around about where the supplies are. And remember when you're throwing one artillery only, you can, that's basically free because you're Spending 3 GB and you're getting 3 GB back. We're gonna do a flare landing. Um, probably should have checked if anything's in range. I drop outside just to see. Yeah, see nothing's in range. So you don't need to smoke on the beach until you get um, in range of that sniper tower or the boom cannon's probably gonna be there first. And then we're gonna flare up. Not too worried about having a gap um, around these single shot defenses. And then we're just gonna hug that wall up the right side. I did flare a little bit early. You can see those Zookas wandering off to the left, but we can cater to them. And it might even pay to do a lower flare to begin with, because you're gonna have to re-flare over in a minute anyway. Or maybe I wouldn't have, but there you go, it's fine. So I got 61 GBE, that's enough for critter, critter, shock, shock. And we did flare the core. And we did medkit, so boom! Still rocking no losses, I love it. Um, I think we'll make that the last on this video. Um, we should have at least one, maybe two more parts um, to AZ versus NPC. Um, so be sure to check them out. Comment down below if you take your NPCs out any differently. Um, and give us a thumbs up, like the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more Boom Beach!